Hi Year 13s, in this video we're looking at integrating quotients and by that I mean quotient functions. And it just so happens that if they fall into this category where the um, de denominator of our fraction is, sorry about that, where our denominator of our fraction is the derivative of our um, numerator, then in that case it simply integrates to the log function of our denominator. Uh, with a few uh, exceptions. So this is only useful in that case. Okay, so if we look at this first example here, um, our denominator function is x squared plus 3, and the derivative of that is 2x. So we can clearly see here that this first example is of this form. And so in this case, it's very straightforward to evaluate this integral. It's simply the natural log of x squared plus 3, D, uh, plus c. That's it. In our next example, um, it's similar but different. So uh, the function of our uh, bottom part of our fraction is 4x squared minus 1, and the derivative of that is 8x. So 8x is not the same as x, but it is a multiple of x. So all that means is we have to take that to, into account when we evaluate this integral. So um, We'll write out the first part of our integral, which is as a log function. So that's 4x squared minus 1 plus c. And all we have to think about is um, what we do to counteract the fact that the bottom differentiates to um, 8x, and, uh, yeah, and which would mean we'd have 8x there. So how we counteract timesing by 8 is timesing by 1 over 8. So it's not that tricky, really. Okay, I think I'll whip right through to example three because I'm getting through these quite quickly. And so our bottom function is, I'll write it out very quickly. Okay, if we differentiate that, we get, and I've just lost my page. Uh, so we will get 6x squared plus 8x minus 2. Now, if you're comparing that to the top of our fraction, you'll notice that it's not the same, but it is a multiple. It's simply the top times by 2. And so in order to undo that, we will need to make sure that when we evaluate our integral, we times it by a half to counter, uh, counteract that effect. So the integral of this function is simply the natural log of that denominator plus c. And we just need to make sure that in front of the log, we times it by a half, and that's it. So it's actually a very straightforward process. Part of it is about identifying that um, this quotient function will work, um, and for quotient functions not like this, you'll have to find another way, such as simplifying or using another method that I, I may teach um, later on. There's the work for you to do. That is it.